and welcome to Daily Scuba News. So around 50 years ago, Canada had a secret that they wanted to hide from the world and from the history books as well. But recently, scuba divers found Canada's dirty little secret. Because where else do you hide something that you don't want anybody to find? Underwater, silly. Oh, yeah. So back in August 2017, Canadian researchers began a mission to find a Cold War relic that Canadian government tried to hide in Lake Ontario. Mmm. And to give them their dues, uh, Lake Ontario is about, eight, uh, eight, I was going to say 800 then, 86 metres deep. Pretty deep. Pretty deep. Uh, and 19,000. 19,000 square kilometers, so it's a good place to hide things, you know, just not from scuba divers. <laughs> so OEX Recovery Group Incorporated started by mapping the key locations that they might have hidden this thing. Um, I reckon in the middle, where it's the deepest. The, the, the real deep bit. Um, but. What is it that they were looking for? So named the Arrow, this top secret aeroplane was the successor to the bad boy, um, nicknamed Clunk. <laughs> um, so <laughs> that's quite a cool name, actually. Clunk. You know they clunk. Yeah, Winston. clunk clunk was the noise that like the um, the. Uh, what you call it, lander gear sort of made. Yeah. Um, so who? So yeah, Clunk was considered too slow and clunky to <laughs> defend North America from the potential Red invasion. So Canada commissioned this, the CF-105 Arrow, and that is what the divers were looking for in Lake Ontario. Yeah. So the Lake Ontario was a popular site for experimental aircraft. You might call it the Canadian Area 51. Maybe we should go and storm the lake. <laughs> No, that didn't go so well, no, did it? Still Area 51. No, no, just to go <clears throat> sit in uh, Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you know, sightings of UFO sightings, you know, all followed from that area. The arrow was designed to, you know, hit speeds of Mach 2. Uh, like twice the speed of sound. Uh, back in 1955, so yeah, that was pretty fast back then. Yeah, yeah. Only when Russia started looking towards the stars in 1957, Obviously, that didn't work out for them, did it? Uh, when they launched Sputnik into space, Canada now reassessed the arrow and cancelled it completely and made it, you know, uh, well, wow, 30,000 employees redundant. Yeah, That's all just... of the people that were like researching it, designing it, and building it and whatnot, they were all just kind of like, yeah, no, we're, we're going to scrap this project. So, what you're saying is that this project arrow, yeah, the Tom, what happened to Thomas Cook is our version. <laughs> of this Project Arrow of our times. Sort of, but it was less embezzlement from the higher ups. Yeah. Allegedly. Um, who knows? Anyway, by simply buying planes from the United States, Canada saved themselves <laughs> a lot of production and research costs. Of course. Um, and they ordered all blueprints, designs, models, and information about the Arrow, everything to be destroyed because it turns out that there were actually Soviet moles inside of the company when they were building it. So, using a submarine sonogram near Point Peter, researchers found something that could be part of the arrow, so they sent in the divers. So, I'm going to go off topic here yeah. for a little bit. So, yes, I know that Russian moles and all that sort of thing, especially in that air era of yeah. the, the Red yeah. Invasion and all that sort of thing, I know that's bad, but the only reason why America went into space was because of German researchers after World War II. Operation Paperclip. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, I don't think they need to be, I mean, having moles in it is, you know, something to be ashamed of, but I yeah. don't think it's that bad to hide everything. I wouldn't. Yeah. I think they didn't really know about it until um, like 92, when one of the Russian moles in the company defected to the UK and like released all this information. Oh, okay. So like, <sighs> anyway, after scrapping decades of zebra mussels, oh, zebra mussels? Are they like, yeah, like zebra or zebra? Zebra. However you say it, they're, they're, they're really sharp little mussels, fresh cool. boy. Sweet. Um, off of, uh, 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 that's thrown me off completely. It's zebra mussels. So yeah, they, they had to scrape all these zebra mussels off, off uh, to actually see what, what this they were looking thing at. Was yeah, there you go. This isn't there. Uh, <laughs> divers uh, found out that it was actually a prototype model of the arrow. Ooh, it took them a further year to actually lift it off the bottom of the, you know, of properly, mm. and you know they can get a clearer 
the cl oh, what cleaning the I'm um, really words not working word mouth. I've been on holiday. So it so it took them an entire year to actually like clean, clean it, up it up and like prepare it so that they could lift, lift it, it up. up. And um and it had a very unique delta like a triangle shaped oh, ring. Okay. Um and yeah. that's why they knew what it was. Well, well, that's cool. So yeah, obviously divers were essentially essential <laughs> in lifting the piece of history and you know they they're not done yet. Which is obvious. There's probably a lot. To be yeah. Together. You know, they have a lot more testing to do on the prototypes for the velvet glove and the Sparrow air-to-air -air missile. So there's yeah. a lot there to play around with. Yeah, it's, it's basically they went to locals and just said, right, were you here when um, in this era? And they're like, yeah, yeah. And they said, oh, um, where do you think like they would? put something then oh yeah I kind of remember them putting stuff in so there's all sorts of different missiles and sort of testing prototypes and stuff I just imagine that it's Laurie backing up beep, beep, beep. <laughs> all these Laurie all these <laughs> missiles just <laughs> Um, so basically, without divers, the shady Canadian secrets would still be secrets underwater. Oh, damn you divers! Uh, yeah, well, divers and Soviet spies that defect to the UK uh, um, and released their information in 1992. Uh. But what do you think? Uh, would you like to be a part of a recovery team lifting old Cold War era secrets? It is quite interesting. If there's missiles, no. I think most of it, there, it's not um, explosives or anything. I mean, this one, it was like a, a 10 foot long prototype. It was a scale model of it. Um, they think there is an actual functioning version of it, but um, they, they've still got to find it. They're not going to find it. Canada's a big place. Yeah, lots of places to hide stuff. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's have a chat about it in the comments. Thank you for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.